Hey, 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 here we are, Saturday night. Wait for a few of y'all to pop on here with me and um, just uh, felt in my feelings today. You know, it's getting close to Thanksgiving. Actually, it's getting close to the um, anniversary of the day that my son was arrested. So it's um, November 21st, 2013. That's when our adventure started. Well, it really started with my son's dad. Um, I'm not going to have to read anything else. So I'm going to, y'all, this is, I got my, my hair is really curly today. But um, hey, Kathy, <laughs> I just felt the need to go live because y'all haven't went live in a long time. I kind of wanted to update y'all, and this is Liz. She had an incarcerated daughter as well. Um, so she's been my friend for years and years and years. And I told her, I said, I go live a lot on my page, but the last, like, what, month? I haven't, I went live, I think, like, one time. So I wanted to update all y'all, and y'all know this is the easiest way to do all of our updates. Liz uh, stuffed some uh, letters for us, too, y'all. Yeah, Christmas so letters. I love her. She's doing a great thing, and so are y'all. Yeah, so is she. So I just want to let y'all know we are stuffing letters. We're getting them ready for our loved ones. Uh, let's see what Debbie. Y'all, sorry. My, oh, Debbie is on here. Awesome, Debbie. I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, your son got arrested November 22nd, 2015. Mine was November uh, 21st, 2013. Um, and y'all know, it's kind of like a day of death that we always keep the day of death. Um, it, I call that the day of alive death um, because that's what we experience, right? So what we're doing right now, we got moms working on their stories for um, a publication that'll be coming out in hopefully January. The biggest thing will be designing the cover, okay? So I'm kind of looking for some prison art and make kind of like a um, collage type, if you have any ideas for that. But we were thinking about what is the one thing that you think of as a mother that, and I asked Liz that, and she said, and I feel the same way, your heart's being literally ripped out of your chest. I actually have a friend who died of a broken heart. Um, both of her, I was talking to her every day. She had never had any medical problems. Um, yes, got my Sacramento. <laughs> yes. My son lived there for a little bit, and I got a shirt when I rough flew into the airport. Um, but, uh, so anyway, so um, what was I even saying? Y'all y'all know how I am. I get very um, sidetracked. But we are getting the letters ready. I'm not going to get sidetracked. I'll read the comments after we get finished. Um, but we're getting the letters ready and we're, um, oh, the book. So the moms are writing their stories now. But I'm trying to really have an eye-catching um, uh, cover. So I need some ideas, okay? I found some stuff, but I just don't like it. I want it to be prison art. So if you have anything um, that's of like a mother that's just distraught or a woman, uh, maybe a heart that's, you know, exploding with grief. Um, let's see, what else? You know, if you have any prison art, I do not have to actually have the art, okay? So I can um, scan it in. You could send it to me an email, but if it's something that you think would be good for a book that is uh, mothers of incarcerated kids are writing from their heart and from their gut and from their mind and from what this does to us. Um, and, you know, people have asked, well, are you going to have one that is wives? Are you going to have one? Yes, this is going to be a series. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be um, inmate. It's going to be locked up just like uh, we released locked up both sides of the wire, but this is going to be locked up both sides of the wire. Mothers of the incarcerated is going to be this one. And then there'll be wives of the incarcerated. Um, there'll be siblings of the incarcerated, um, children of the incarcerated. So we, I will do all of them, um, but we're going to start with mothers because I'm a mother and that's where it hits me um, the most right now is with my son being locked up. His dad was locked up most of his life. But I, you know, I had my son there, you know, and his dad was in and out for 32 years. It was hard, but it was nothing like it's been, you know, with my son being gone. So um, with that said, if y'all have any ideas on the cover, please, please, please let me know. Um, I know Thanksgiving is a hard time. It's like we just 
our bodies physically and mentally know that it's Thanksgiving, right? And it's Christmas and then it's New Year's and then we count how many, you know, years our loved ones have been gone. And um, so we just got to get through that day. But this is what I say, okay? You can never get that Thanksgiving back, okay? Now, if it's the first Thanksgiving, I think that's a little bit different because I think that that's when we're hit the most and it really takes some time to sink in. Um, depending on how many years that your loved one has. Um, not that I'm saying any more years or harder than less years, but I am saying the more that they're away, it, it is hard. You know, it's hard. You kind of don't even, I don't even um, really celebrate. I mean, I do exactly, Kathy. It is the new normal for us. And um, it's hard. It's a hard one to stomach. And even though I don't walk around and go, oh, you know, this is our sixth Thanksgiving away from my son, I think subconsciously something just kicks in because I get, and I'm not going to say depressed, y'all, because I don't suffer from depression. I used to really bad, but I really realize that I have to trust in God. Um, but I have days, okay? We all do. It's like, it's okay to have days, but it's not okay to have day after day after day, okay, of being depressed and being sad and being upset. Um, embrace uh, the suck. We have to learn to adapt and overcome. Yes, and that's so right, Anna. We just have to learn. And that doesn't, that doesn't mean, oh, just chalk it up and be strong. That's not what I'm saying at all because sometimes it's hard to choke, chalk it up and be strong. But that doesn't mean we walk around, oh, you know, he's gone again. Poor, pitiful me. Because if you have kids and you have other family, you know, it's not fair. And it's already hard enough for everyone else. So time marches on, right? And I think that's one of the hardest things when our loved one is away. Um, this will be our sixth um, Thanksgiving. Um, but I just don't focus on Thanksgiving Day. I just focus on, hey, we're going to hang out. We're going to eat some food. Um, I live 1,200 miles away from my whole family. So it will be me and then my husband and two children and then my Best friend Liz here that y'all saw a few minutes ago um, will be with us this Thanksgiving. So it'll be really cool. Um, I want to tell y'all now that I have a few of y'all on here. So I'm a little, 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 I know today because today's been a crazy day. Okay. So every Saturday I do a supervised visit for a mother who is basically losing her kids. You know, she didn't see him for nine or 10 months. I know the little girl. She's a very good friend of my daughters have been friends, you know, since we moved here when my daughter was in fifth um, she's in eighth grade now. So I just kind of did this because this is a kind of a way to make sure these kids get to see their mom. But I'll tell y'all today, y'all, today I had to go wake her up. Um, she didn't show up. And so I was like, you know, the kids are at the bar staring at me with those puppy dog eyes. And um, I had to go wake her up and it just, it was a bad deal. Um, she did make it, you know, I did bring her back, but she almost was like, def like, mad at me you know why I don't have to take you know like are you kidding me so I was just a little frazzled today and then I could tell she's probably using and it, it's just sad because we've been doing these visits for about seven weeks and I feel like we're just another step back and I really don't want to do this in my home much longer um because it really kind of disturbs you know my home and what we're doing I don't you know they did fight one week I didn't let them I told them after that there would be no more fighting because the girl's a teenage girl and she's 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 pissed at her mom you know and and our kids have every right to be pissed at us if we failed them because we're the adult okay but we don't have to hold around we don't have to hold the guilt you know what I'm saying? We don't have to hold the guilt, but what we need to do is we need to take, you know, I wanted her to say today, you know what? I'm sorry. I screwed up. Uh, I, w I wasn't there. I was sleeping. Um, I just kind of blew my kids off, <laughs> but instead she was very defensive and very mad and very irritable about the whole situation as we're driving all the way back. So I've decided today I will not be picking her up anymore. Um, I'll let them handle that, but I just, you know, I want y'all to know that you know, our kids are affected by this and we have to talk to our kids and we can't, you know, I see a lot of moms on here and, you know, their young sons are being, uh, mostly their young sons. I know it's daughters too, but, you know, are being arrested and they, and they, and they focus so much on the child who is in jail or prison. The other kids feel very, um, it just, it causes discord. You know what I mean? It causes, you know, a lot for that other ch child. So let your kids talk about it. Um, let your kids, um, express the way they feel about it. A lot of people don't want to talk about, you know, being in prison. Cause I want to tell y'all something. My little boy was only four. 
He's almost 10 now. It's his brother, but they're, they're like this. And he took it really hard. I mean, he cried and cried and cried and cried every day. About four months after my son had gotten arrested, we had been going to see him and stuff. My little boy, which was four years old at the time, I said something about commissary and that Michael was going to order certain, you know, foods and stuff. And my little boy looked at me with the most sincere eyes and said, he gets to eat. And it was then that I realized this little boy in his mind thought he didn't even get to eat. You know what I'm saying? So it's very scary for them. And when we say jail to young children, they think the worst. And it is the worst. But we have to let them know that it's going to be okay. Because it is, right? It is. Even though sometimes we don't feel like it's going to be okay, it's always okay. Um, regardless of what happens, um, we have some, you know, that have just been through the ringer with um, their loved ones. Uh, they, you know, I say some, I feel like we, you know, my son's dad died two months. He had no medical problems whatsoever and died two months after my son had gotten arrested. That's tragic. You know, um, we have another mom and you'll, you'll read her story. She lost her husband shortly after her son was, and, and it was a car accident. It was a very, um, she doesn't say that in there and I'm not going to give somebody's business. Um, but they know, I think they know, you know, she'll know who I'm talking about when she sees this, but that's heart wrenching. And this woman has figured out a way to stay strong for her son. That's strong. And even though sometimes she might not feel strong, that is strong because she has grandchildren and like I have grandchildren and she has other children and we just can't throw away everything else because our, our husband or our child or our dad or our uncle or our aunt or our sister or our brother or our daughter has been arrested. We can't. We have to have hope. Y'all, I've seen some, some miraculous things happen and people get out. And so just because they told you that your loved one got life without parole or, you know, Darlie Routier, they're redoing her whole case. And she's looking at the death penalty and has since 1997. Okay, so I'm just saying, you know, don't just... You know, think that you have to lay down and be buried and die because the court system said um, that uh, it would be this way or that, okay? Um, but I just wanted to pop on here tonight because I know this is this is rough times for you, for all of us. The holidays are coming. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of us uh, you might have birthdays. Their loved ones has birthdays. Maybe they're in segregation. One year, my son spent ninety days in segregation. And um, it was rough. And, it, and he got put in on Halloween. So it was all through all the holidays. And you know what was crazy, y'all, is I, I thought the worst. I pictured my son in the corner. Now, it was bad. He did have to go to the hospital because his body wasn't moving around. So any of your loved ones who are in segregation, tell them, get up, do jumping jacks in the morning, do jog in place, stretch, you know, do what they can do, write them letters because it's a rough time, okay? Um, also, something else I wanted to mention was, um, you know, we'll be sending out letters. We don't send cards because a lot of units don't allow cards anymore. It's certain envelopes, certain pens, pencils, all this stuff um, is not allowed anymore. So we send a form letter and we send that in letter, you know, in letter form, okay? So it's on a white piece of paper, um, uh, like computer paper, and it's in a white envelope. So if you have a loved one that you would like to add to that list, please let us know. Also, oh, Joanne, I'm so sorry. God, I mean, I really am. It's awful. Um, but if you have, um, you know, a, a loved one that you would like for us to send, um, and it's through a ministry address, so there'll be no, you know, crazy stuff. We don't share addresses with other people. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. We just send a little bit of encouragement in a time that they're going to need it the most. Um, also, if you'd like to send stamps, maybe you, you want to do something, but you don't know what to do. 10 stamps is five bucks. Um, so if you'd like to send stamps or send a donation and we'll buy stamps, our goal is 500, um, and we have to send them out within the next, you know, couple weeks to make sure that they get them by Christmas. So, um, you know, when I went inside of the prison, it was just like one time this one inmate, he's like, you know, he goes, 
they come and they bring cookies, Cairo, Cairo, uh, you know, ministry. They bring different things. They have ministry teams in here. But he goes, it means so much when we get a card or we get a letter or you guys come and you volunteer and you don't have to. That means so much. And we have had inmates tell us that they have gotten that at the time that they need it the most. So um, feel free, you know, to do that, to contribute towards that. Um, that is all part of inmate support. However, um, Cindy Sue admins that pen pal page and is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, you know, a lot of y'all are really helpers to me, but I just, I want to point out like, you know, Cindy Sue, Kathy, um, all of you admins, Mary Garrison, uh, if I don't say your name, don't please don't get offended and think that I don't appreciate you because I appreciate you so much that you don't even have a clue because this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for all the people who, um, you know, stay, that, that, that moderate these pages, that admin these pages, that message us when something shady is going on on the page that helps us to, um, you are too, Kathy, and you guys do it from your heart. And that means so much much to me because I have that heart. Um, and I love, I love, love, love our loved ones. And, um, it, it just, it's very dear to my heart. I lived it. It was years and years of, uh, total just of this. And I never had anyone. Let me turn this light on y'all. It's getting kind of dark. Uh, it gets dark a lot earlier now, doesn't it? Um, but so I want y'all to, to know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Anyone who is a part of this ministry in any way, um, whether it be sending stamps, whether it be adminning a page, whether it be, you know, um, oh, first step back, let's talk about that. Whether it be, um, you know, messaging or calling your senators, okay? Because First Step Act, yes, people go, well, that's federal. That doesn't apply to us. You know what, you guys? If it becomes a federal law, I can almost guarantee you it's going to trickle down to the states. Because think about these senators that are signing it. You know, they're from specific states and they're going to want to see more education in their states. They're going to want to see, um, you know, there's so many things on that First Step Act that I encourage y'all to read. And to Mitch McConnell is is um, Senator Mitch McConnell out of uh, Kentucky. He doesn't want to, you know, sign. And we need his, he's our main, you know, senator and we need his support. Um, so, so if you're on Twitter, you know, find us. Inmate Support 5 is our Twitter handle. Um, you know, just keep tweeting. You think that, that they don't hear us. When we send what we call thunderclaps, which means all of us are just at Mitch McConnell, at Mitch McConnell. And we're, you know, eventually they break and they understand. And we're not trying to break them. I want to make that very clear. But we're trying to let us, let them know that our loved ones have gone to prison because of stacking laws, okay? They stack, 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 stack these laws. And we have people, my own son was looking at 25 to life for marijuana only case, okay? This is, and I'm not saying any, you know, more violent than the other. I'm not pointing out that this one should and this one shouldn't. What I'm saying is we need prison reform. So if you truly want to be active in this whole prison reform, watch our pages. Also, we have state pages for every, well, almost every state. We're lacking about seven states. But if you want to find your state, inmate support Georgia, inmate support Texas, inmate support um, you know, California, inmate support, Florida, inmate support. We have inmate support life without parole. We have inmate support prayers that we just specifically, you know, put prayer requests on that. Inmate support, hashtag inmate support. Find your page, find your group, find your niche of what, what your passion is with this. Just because I want to go to the White House and hold up signs doesn't mean you have to go to the White House and hold up signs. It might mean you just want to make phone calls or you want to just, you know, send somebody a card of encouragement or you want to start a a, 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 a group in your church for the loved ones that have been incarcerated. We will help you do that. Um, I'm actually, I, I've been doing this for years and I know you're tired of hearing about it, but it, it takes a lot of work is I'm writing a curriculum that will be brought into um, churches and let's start, let's reach these people and teach them how to do this stuff and how to fight this criminal justice system that we know is shady and we know is wrong. We have rights and we can stand up. Yes, you know what, Nessa, if your husband has not been sentenced yet, my son was looking at 25 to life, okay? 
it, and he's going to wind up doing about seven, eight years when he's all said and done with his, well, he'll do more than that with his probation, but you know what? He'll do about seven years time-wise, and he was looking at 25 to life, so don't claim that. Don't claim it. My husband is not going to do life. I just know that, and I feel that from the bottom of my heart, okay? I'm telling y'all, this is, this is real, and we're in this together. And if you're a mother that would like to submit a story, I, I've, I've kind of locked into the ones that have committed. But if you want to send a story to inmate sharing, inmate sharing, I-N-M-A-T-E-S-H-A-R-I-N-G at gmail.com, send it. Um, some of the stories, if they're not five pages or more, I'm going to put them in the back of the publication, okay? But remember, I need ideas for the cover. What do you feel like as a mother? If you have any artwork you would like to, uh, you know, contribute and that we use it, any artwork that we use, you will only release it for the cover to us. We won't own that artwork, but you will either email it, scan it and email it to us, um, and we will we'll get a release from you that we can use that for the cover. And then anyone's art who is used will get a free poppy, uh, copy of this publication. I would, In my mind, I picture inmate art, but almost like a collage, like all these things that a mother is thinking. Um, if your loved one would like to, to draw some art, um, inmate sharing, I-N-M-A-T-E-S-H-A-R-I-N-G. Just the word inmate and then the word sharing together at gmail.com. Y'all watch the page because wives and 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 all the other um, sisters, daughters, sons, you know, parents, um, watch the page because we're going to have a whole series with these books and um, because we need this. We need encouragement. We need people to understand how to get through the worst part of their life. It's the hardest part. Um, to have, oh, thank you, Kathy, thank you, thank you. I should have, duh, <laughs> oh, gosh, you guys. I'm telling you, today really, like, it was just crazy today. Um, but I just felt like I needed to go on, I needed to go live, and I needed to touch base with y'all and let y'all know we're in this together, okay? It is rough. The holidays are so rough. Um, every day's rough, but the holidays are really rough away from our loved ones. So what, um, you know, what I say to you is to just stay, stay, stay faithful. And, 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 and what I mean by that is keep your faith. Get up every day. That doesn't mean we're not going to cry. That doesn't mean we're not going to feel desperate. That doesn't mean we're not going to be distraught. We're not going to have our heart feeling like it's exploding out of our chest. That doesn't mean any of that. But what it means, y'all, I know <laughs> it's so dark in here. I know it. I know. Um, but what it means is that, um, we're going to get through this. Okay. So, um, what it means is God's going to get us through this. Sorry. I, I, I just got like totally off, but that's what I did every day. I just had faith and hope and I got through, uh, five years and it just, it, it's, I, I look back now and I think, how did I make it through five years of this so far? But I did. Okay. And you can too. So I just, with that, I'm going to, I'm going to close. If y'all don't have anything um, that you'd like to ask or, but I'm going to start going live more. I promise. Okay. And what I did last year, I actually went live on Thanksgiving day. So, um, you know, just, uh, tune in. Tune in, come on here, um, and, and let's do this together, okay? We're going to get through Thanksgiving Day together. I was seeing if my son was in there. Um, and that's all we can do, right? So, again, if you're a mom that wants to submit a story, your story, don't hold back on those stories, okay? I've had moms, well, what if I'm mad at my, you know, kid for, that's okay, express that. Because there's other moms that are mad about it. There's other moms that are sad about it. There's other moms that are devastated. There's other moms that are pissed. There's other moms that blame their kids. Y'all have to come in here and stir my, I have some uh, chili on the stove. Uh, there are other moms that you know, feel that the same way that you do. So my encouragement to you is to, you know, be real, be real. And I will change your name, um, on the, uh, I will change your name for, uh, security reasons uh, in the book. Sorry, y'all. Um, I was trying to do that and talk to y'all at the same time. So don't, um, you know, don't worry about that. 
security. You're, even if you write it and your own kid reads it, they hopefully won't know that it was you. They might put the story together, being it is um, their story. But I just want all of y'all to know I love y'all. I, I pray for y'all and for us every day. Um, I do um, encourage y'all to go live. If you feel you know, like you want to go live on our page, go live. If you see this on YouTube, inmate support slash incarcerated loved ones is our main page. And then, like I said, we have inmate support federal and we have inmate support for our state pages. So check it out. Um, we are uh, umbrellaed under the ministry of Pioneer Trails Ministry, where we offer um, addiction services. We offer, um, you know, encouragement. I'm going to be starting an overcomers class in the um, I'm, I'm actually going to start it online soon. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. Um, I'm taking that overcomers class. I was going to do that. Um, and then we're going to do it at our local library. You know, we work with the hungry, the homeless, um, just the, the broken, which is about, you know, most of us, y'all. Um, we just want people to know that we care and that God loves them, y'all. We're not religious. We're not, but we love the Lord and we have 100% faith. Um, and we believe, and some might not, and that's okay. Um, it's really not okay because I would love for all of us to believe. But you know what? I'm never going to judge you because you don't, and I'm always going to love you. Um, and then I just pray that, you know, God shows us um, what we need to know, what we need to do, you know, what direction. And and that's all we can do it, to get through each and every day. Um, so... Yes, yes, I would love for you to do that. You know what I did, Alyssa? Um, in our book, Locked Up from Both Sides of the Wire, which is available on Amazon, if you ever want to find any of the books that I have published, uh, Jody Rose on Amazon, um, you can look up. But um, I wrote a story for my son's dad after he was deceased. Um, I wasn't trying to put words in his mouth, but he had already expressed to me he was going to write a story and I knew his life because I've known him, you know, for 30, 32 years at that point. And I wrote that story and I put the things that I know that he would have said as a father of a, of, of a newly incarcerated man. Um, so, um, and then what he had gone through and it's really, you know, helps some other people. So definitely, if you want to write a story that is for, you know, someone else, let's do it. Okay. I just, the stories are to help other people get through this because it's hard as y'all know. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to finish up. So y'all uh, peace out tonight. Have a great night. Um, I am going to start going live again. I don't know the exact nights, but I'm going to do live at five. Um, maybe I'll do this on Saturday nights since I am always home <laughs> on Saturday nights. But y'all, again, feel feel free to go live. If you ever see anything negative or shady on our page, please let me or Cindy Sue or uh, Kara is another one of our admins, and uh, and we'll take care of it right away, okay? No judging on this page. We love everyone the same, and if you're a loved one, um, if your loved one, you know, it doesn't matter their crime. We don't share that on here because we don't want anyone getting attacked, but the crime, we do not, we do not, we don't judge people. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Well, y'all have a great night. Peace out. And I will talk to you soon.